everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Valerie and today I want to show you how to make lace-up leather pants. I wanted to make this pants for quite a long time and I finally made them. It took me a lot of time perfecting the pattern and I'm so excited to finally present it to you. Soon this pants may seem complicated, but if you follow my instructions, you will succeed. You can find the link to the pattern in the description below. So, let's get into it! To make this pants you will need leather, I'm using vegan stretch leather, fusible interfacing, grommets, cord, button and zipper. First, we print out a pattern at the 100 scale and then we check the size of a test square. It should be 5 by 5 cm. Next, we connect the sheets using transparent tape and cut out all the pattern pieces. Each page is numbered, so you know exactly how to connect and tape out all of your pages. The pattern already has seam allowances of 7 mm. In some places, the seam allowances are larger. Next step is to cut all the pattern pieces out of the fabric. You should end up with two front pieces, which consist of three parts, two back pieces, a waistband piece, a fly shield and fly facing pieces, and bell loops pieces. First, we need to stabilize the places where the grommets will be located. I cut out four strips of fusible interfacing 5 cm wide and place them on the wrong side of my front pieces. Then I'm ironing them on until they fused with the fabric. Now we need to connect the front pieces with the insert piece. I put the front pieces and the insert piece right sides together and make a stitch using the overlocker. If you don't have an overlocker, you can use a zigzag stitch or just a straight stitch. Now we need to form folds on both sides. I mark 2 cm from the edge. And for convenience, I stick adhesive tape to temporarily fix the fold while I'll do the stitch. Then I fold it as shown in the video and make a straight stitch. I repeat this process on the other side as well. After that, I remove the adhesive tape. Now we need to install the grommets. I cut the pattern, leaving only the part with the marking of the grommets, and now I transfer the location to the pant leg. I will use a press to install the grommets. If you don't have such a press, they can be installed with a hammer. In general, there are a lot of tools for installing grommets, from cheap to expensive. My grommets are 6 mm in diameter, so I make the hole a little smaller, 5 mm. Then I install the grommet. In the same way, I install all the grommets. Moving on to sew and fly front, the first thing you want to do is interface your fly shield and your fly facing. Then fold your fly shield in half and sew along the bottom edge. After that, cut off the excess and turn that right side out. I'm going to finish the curved edge of the fly facing. And I'm going to finish the straight and open edge of the fly shield. Now I take my zipper and place it face up on the fly shield. Place the stopper of your zipper exactly where I have my zipper stopper. And then, once you sew the waistband on, you'll be able to trim that excess zipper off. Now I'm going to sew down on this side of the zipper tape. To do this, I will use a zipper foot. I finish both crotch seams on the front pant pieces, where the fly front ends. Now I'm going to attach the fly shield to the pants with 1 cm as the seam allowance. And then I top stitch it. After that, I take my fly facing and attach it to the pants with 7 mm as the seam allowance. and top stitch it. Then I put two pieces right sides together and make a stitch starting from the point that I have marked. This is about 2 cm above the end of the fly. 
and I top stitch it as well. Now sew down the zipper to a fly facing as I show. But before that, check whether everything stays nice and flat on the front side. Now you need to mark out exactly where you want to sew the top stitch. I didn't do it at first because I thought this pants would look better without a top stitch. And everything would stay in place because of the waistband. But it's not. But it's okay, I added the stitch later. Make sure that the stitch doesn't go on the fly shield. And the hardest part is over. Now we move into the back piece. First, we need to sew the darts. Match your notches together by folding the dart in half and then pin them together up to the dart tip. Then sew it with a straight stitch. Sew the back crotch together. Then I also top stitch that. Now put the front piece and the back piece right sides together. Then sew the side seams and the inseam. To make the bell loops less thick, I will use adhesive tape. I glue the sides of the bell loop to the middle instead of folding several times. Then I top stitch on both sides. I place the belt loops at about the same distance from each other. Then I like to just stay stitched those belt loops in place. Moving on to the waistband, I first interface it on the edges. I do this in order to stabilize the places where the bottom and the bottom hole will be. Now I attach the waistband to the pants. Your waistband will be a little bit longer than your waist seam, just so that you have enough room to make a clean stitch. After that, I fold in a half right size together and stitch a little line up the edge. Clip off the axis and when you turn it right side out, you will have a perfectly finished waistband. Repeat this process on the other side as well. Now we need to top stitch around all of those edges of the waistband. And again, to make this step easier, I will use an adhesive tape. I highly recommend you purchase it, it really simplifies the work process. To finish off the belt loops, fold the belt loop, place it down and sew it right on the edge. Then cut up the axis. I made a button hole on my sewing machine and installed the button. For the hem, make sure you do try on your pants beforehand, in case you need to cut it shorter. I overlock the edge and then I turn it up once and stitch it. Lace up your pants and after that you're done. Thank you guys so much for watching, if you have any questions feel free to ask them in the comments. Also don't forget to subscribe on my channel and like this video. And see you in the next videos, bye!